Hey, this is Rob Stoffer from SideFX. Today we're going to take a look at setting up a mini render farm using Houdini and HQ. So what I've done is I've logged into this Windows machine here that is going to act as my HQ server and HQ client. So let's get started by um, installing a fresh copy of Houdini. So let's uh, get this started. Okay, uh, step through the usual steps here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uncheck main application and then check HQ client and HQ server. So what this does is it's not going to install an interactive license of Houdini, but it is going to install Houdini to the shared folder that we set up. So step through the usual um, questions here for paths. There's a destination folder for our HQ server. Uh, we can just hit next there. Now this is where it'll start, store like the INI files and things like that. Hit next, that's the service name. So what we're gonna do here, this is the shared drive that we're gonna use for um, all of our files, where, where HQ is gonna look for your scene files and where it's gonna place renders and things like that. So um, what I'm gonna do here is we have two options. You can either have them set it up for you or pick one that you have already. It's already been shared. But the way we're going to do it now is we're going to browse to a folder that I've already set up as my project folder. So um, if I click on browse here, I'm going to go to a shared folder that I already have set up, or project folder that I'm going to use, I should say. And it's going to call it HQ, which is fine. And it's going to map to a folder on my hard or map it as a network folder mounted to um, H, to the drive letter H. So we'll just step through that now. Say next. This is the destination folder for HQ client. Um, similar to HQ server, it's where it puts things like the INI file and the local host. So in this case, since this is a server and a client, so that means it's going to host the jobs as well as run jobs itself, um, we can leave this as local host and we'll leave the port number as 5000. Um, we'll see a little bit later what we do when we add a client that is using a different machine as the server. So I'll hit next here, hit install, and um, let this run. Okay, so um, we're all finished installing there, so click finish. Okay, so um, there are just a couple more things we need to do um, to prep our little render farm here. So first thing is make sure our licenses are installed. So I look for, I want to find a license administrator. It's under recently added. Um, if you scroll down and find side effects software, it's also under there with, um, with our install. So click there, license administrator, let's open that up. Um, I don't have any licenses on this machine, but what I want to do is use a license server. So if I select change license server, and I'll change it from the local server to the um, address of the license server that I'm using. And I hit accept, and I'll see all the licenses I have available. Um, and the next thing I want to do is mount the drive that I'm going to be using. Remember we made that shared drive. Um, so we, even though it's a drive on this machine, I need to map a network drive to that drive letter that we set up, which was H. Um, and then we could just find that folder. There it is, HQ. Say OK and finish. And so it's because HQ um, is going to be looking for that drive letter and that, that directory at that location. Now I want to pop over to my HQ server directory. Um, and inside that is an hqserver.ini file that I want to edit that file. Um, so what I want to change here are the paths um, to the shared folder. Um, this is what HQ server uses to find all those different locations um, based on its platform. Uh, before I do that, let me pop over to my Mac. Um, I want to mount that drive on the Mac. This is what I'll be using as my workstation. Uh, so I just want to make sure that file is there or that folder there, sorry. Um, and now once I mount that location, you'll see it there in the finder. And also I'm going to just in the shell um, go to that path. Um, so you'll see there it's under slash volume slash HQ. So um, now I'm going to pop back over to the Windows machine. Um, I want to use that path um, in the INI file. Uh, so I'll pop back over. 
So where you see Mac OS X, I'll change that to volume slash HQ. I'll change it up there as well. Okay, volumes slash volumes. Now this is important, even though this isn't a farm machine or client machine, it's still, I'll be launching from there. It's gonna look at that path. Um, and so we want to make sure that all the machines involved are looking at that right, the correct shared folder. So here I'm also changing Savannah to Savannah HQ. Um, that's the um, in, in the case of the mount uh, location, that's what it would be on every machine. It would be Savannah slash HQ. So that's all changed. And I'll save out that file. Um, so now we should be ready to go. Um, and uh, so now I'm going to pop into services. Um, so let me scroll down and you'll notice here that there's two services. Um, there's both HQ server and HQ client. And I'm going to click on HQ server. Uh, you see they're both running. Um, I want to restart HQ server because I've changed that INI file. So if you ever, once the server is running um, and you make changes to your HQ server and I, INI file, you want to restart. Okay, so now let's pop over into Houdini. Um, so I'm going to slow up a basic um, scene that I have here that I sort of a little demo scene. Uh, where is it? Okay, there it is. Let's load that up. Okay, so um, this is just a real basic scene that I have in here that uh, I can use for demos. It has some animation uh, and some RBDs in there as well. Um, so let me pop over to my output drivers. You see a, there's a mantra render node in here already set up ready for us to go. Um, so I want to drop down now a um, HQ render node. Um, so there it is. And let's pipe in that mantra wrap into that. Uh, so at the very basic level, there's a couple things to change. First thing is we're going to change the HQ server. You see there it is set to local host, which is the default. Um, but we are HQ servers on a different machine, so we need to use the address of that machine. Um, so in my case, it's going to be um, Savannah is what I'm using. Uh, so we'll set this to uh, the um, address of Savannah, and I'm going to use that same port. It's 5000. Um, you'll also notice below there's a target HFS um, that's set to a has a default path to look where those distros are on the machine. Um, alternatively we can set this to a um, explicitly set it to a local install of Houdini and that will save some time because sometimes the launch of Houdini is too slow. So the rest I'll leave the same. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, automatically save hip file so when I hit submit job um, it's going to save the hip file for me. You'll notice at the top uh, there is a field um, for the output driver. Um, so um, right now we have a mantra piped into that, so that's grayed out because that's what it's using for um, all the mantra information. But if we weren't connected, um, you could click on a normal operator chooser and point to whatever mantra node um, that you wanted to use. Uh, but in this case, we'll keep everything connected. Um, now we can hit submit job and we get up a little confirmation there and we could say open HQ. And that's going to open up a browser that brings us to our um, render manager. So you see there we have a job running. Um, everything looks okay. Now if I click on the job ID there, um, dive in a little bit further and we'll see that there's a task running that's generating the IFDs. If we click on that, it looks like it's loading the HIP file. Um, so far so good. Uh, we can go to our directory um, where the project is and see if it's actually doing anything. So you'll see that there's an IFD directory that it's created and it's already started to drop down some IFD files. So um, that's good. It looks like it's getting going. It's created some of the directories that we need already. So um, that's a good sign. So while we're waiting for some frames to finish, I'm going to pop back over to our Windows machine, point out a few things. Um, so on our shared drive, you'll see there's two folders that were added. One is Houdini distros. So if you're using the default location of Houdini with your farm, you need to make sure there's a copy of Houdini installed on your shared drive, and that's where it goes. The projects directory was created when we created the, the um, shared folder. You can delete that in this case because I already had some stuff existing in there. You can leave it there. 
Um, if you were really starting from scratch, um, then you may want to put things in there. Um, so I'm going to delete it because I don't really need it. Okay, so let's pop back over. Um, so it looks like things are cruising along here. Um, IFDs are still generating. Uh, let's check the render folder and see. Um, let's check our. Let's we'll click back on the job and we'll see where we're at. So the IFDs have succeeded, but we do see that there is a frame running now. So that's good. Um, it's about 40 seconds in. Uh, so we'll just wait uh, a little bit longer, and there we go. So we have our first frame. So it looks like things are working okay. Um, so that's great. So, okay, well, we know we're up and running. Uh, so what we want to do now, actually, I'm just going to go back to this main job, and I'm going to cancel it. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to add uh, an additional machine to our farm instead of just using the one. Um, so what I've done here is I've logged into another machine um, that already has uh, Savannah mounted there or it has our shared folder mounted. Um, so I need to install Houdini. I'll go to Downloads, find that same version of Houdini, and start the installation process. So say yes here. So again, some of the usual things. So once again, I want to turn off main application, but this time I only want to install the HQ client because this is not going to be a server. It's only an additional machine. I hit next. I have my program destination folder, but I also have my HQ client folder. Now here is important because it's not going to use the local host. We want to change it to that, in my case, that Savannah location or that Savannah machine that is going to be the server. So. I'm going to type in that address again and, of course, leave the um, 5,000 port number the same. And then I can hit next, kind of shuffle through some of those other things and let it install. Okay, now that we have installed our HQ client, let's just uh, double check that we have that directory. We'll let's go to our drive. There it is, HQ client. So um, let's go back over to our scene file and I want to kick off that job again. So let's hit submit job. Let's open up HQ one more time. It brings us back to our browser. We have a new job submitted. We click on the job ID and um, let's see the job running. So it's generating IFDs and it's using Savannah. You see there in the clients column. Um, now we're starting to get some of the, the other machine is added. So you see it's failed. So uh, that's not good. Let's click on that. So access is denied. So this is a common problem that people will run into when they're dealing with um, machines on a farm. So let's cancel that job. And I'm going to pop back over to that machine. And I want to go into services again. And I want to scroll down and find HQ client service. Uh, the first thing I want to do uh, is stop it. Um, stop the service. And then I'm going to go into property. So we're having a permissions problem. So I'm going to go to the log on tab there. And you'll see it's trying to log in with that account. So um, for this purposes of this demo, I'm just going to use my own because I know that I have the proper permissions. Um, permissions are important. Sometimes um, that could cause that causes jobs to fail all the time on the farm. Um, so that's just another gotcha that uh, you should be aware of. And um, because it's because the machines need to be able to make changes to the shared drive to those different um, files and folders. So keep that in mind. Now that I've done that, I want to restart the server so it uses those new settings. And I'll pop back over um, to that job. I'm going to resubmit the job. Hit OK. I'll bring up my browser again. So now I have a newly submitted render job there. And then I can click on the job ID once again. Let's go in and see how we're going. Let's click on our render folder and see what we have going on there. We are starting to see some renders come through. And it looks like all the machines are working. So Savannah and MS, M, uh, the MSLA machine have succeeded. And uh, that's a quick way to get up and running with Houdini and HQ. So thanks for watching.